So today let's take a look at some of the cheapest and crappiest music players from eBay. This one is the most basic one with no display. It only costs about 90 cents. It has some buttons, an on-off switch, audio jack here, charging port and a memory card slot. This port is for charging and also for data transfer. It has no charger, so you are using your computer or phone charger to recharge it. You just connect this one to a USB port, you recharge it, you transfer some music files into it and that's it. It has no internal memory storage, so you have to insert your own memory card into it. It takes micro SD cards up to 16 or maybe 32 gigabytes. And this is the reason why it's so cheap. And the card is probably going to be much more expensive than the entire player. There's an on-off switch. You can turn it on. And some red LED comes on. The LED is behind some small hole and it's not really properly aligned, so it's hard to see. Here you can see the buttons. There are plus and minus buttons for volume few buttons for switching of the songs and a play button and that's it. It has no display so you are just blindly switching the songs by pressing this one and this one. And this one is actually not so bad but the problem is that the battery doesn't really last long. It's so cheap because there is no internal memory card and also there is a very small battery. The Chinese guys can make this one very cheap because the chips are very cheap, but the memory cards are not, and good batteries are also not. So in the end you have to insert your own memory card, which is going to be much more expensive than this player, and the battery can last maybe about 15 minutes or 20 minutes, and that's really crappy. I'm afraid I can't play any music now, because otherwise YouTube is going to remove my video. So you have to trust me, it works. Unless the quality of the music is too high. When the quality is high it cannot play properly because the processor is not powerful enough and it cannot catch up to the high bitrate. With a high bitrate music it keeps repeatedly starting and stopping. And because I can't show it in operation let's just open it up. There are no screws and the only way to open it up is probably to pry this one open. I don't even need any tool. I just remove this shiny cover. There are the buttons. There is some plastic frame. Let's remove it. And you can see the membrane buttons and the board. Let's take the board out. The wrong side. This one works. And it reveals the tiny battery some chip, a switch, the audio jack, the charging port, memory card slot and that's it. There is some resistor and capacitor and an LED here. There is some empty space for another LED but it's not there. There's almost nothing in it. It's really just a few of components. This 16 pin chip probably does absolutely everything. It's BA6372 24.1 strange marking. There's the switch. It lights up the LED.
The battery is okay, but its capacity is really low. And the other one is a luxury model because it has a display, a flashlight, and even a loudspeaker. But it still doesn't have an internal memory storage and you have to use your own micro SD card. And the capacity of the battery is also very low, it can last about 20 minutes, maybe half an hour. There is a switch with three positions. It is flashlight, off and on. The flashlight is a 3mm LED, which I guess is overdriven at maybe 400%, as usually in Chinese designs. There is the memory card slot, a 3.5mm audio jack and a USB port for file transfer and charging. Here's the loudspeaker and from the other side there's the display and the buttons. So let's try to test it, put the switch into the on position and if you keep pressing the buttons you finally manage to turn it on. Here it has some settings. You can set how long the backlight is on, the contrast of the display, and the language. It's only in English and probably Chinese. And the music. So here you can browse through the music. And after pressing the volume, you can set the volume. It goes up to 30. I'm not sure what is the point of this switch because you can also turn it off by pressing this one for a longer time. And when you slide this one into the on position, it doesn't automatically turn on. You still have to use this one. So it has a volume button, buttons for switching of the songs, some settings, play button, and a better indicator and that's basically the entire functionality. And now opening time. There are some screws. A few more screws. This one pops out. And this one as well. The housing is made of aluminium. How do I take it out? This way. Ah. Uh. So here's the tiny battery, a loudspeaker, the switch, LED, memory card slot, a 16 pin chip, 8 pin chip. Charging port, audio jack, some resistors, capacitors, diodes, a transistor, and that's it. Let's take a look from the other side. There is just one screw remaining. There are holes for other two screws, but there are no screws in it.
and here you can see the display and the buttons it seems like a double-sided sticky tape here Here's the backlight LED and the display is monochrome or black and white but the bottom half of the display has a blue filter over it so it looks like it's in color. It's quite a simple design, there's not much of it. The resistor in series with the LED is 10 ohms there is no discharging protection, the switch is connecting this LED directly to the battery just through this resistor. And the current is probably quite high, the fully charged battery is 4.2 volts minus the voltage drop of the LED is about 3 volts and so there is about 1.2 volts on this resistor and the current is I equals U over R and this is 1.2 divided by 10 and this is 0 0.12 amps or 120 milliamps but this type of LED is usually rated 20 or 30 milliamps so the conclusion is those players are not so bad but those batteries are really tiny and they can last from about 10 minutes to about half an hour so this is Diagon Wild and see you in my next videos.